as I've got as Jack from ZHS Minecraft is here, and I've got two things to announce. Uh, well, the first thing is is I won't be uploading from Monday to Friday because I am in Paris with my school trip. And second of all, this is in fact a tutorial on Flans mods because he's rewritten it and now you have to do some different stuff and it's quite complex so this won't be a short tutorial but if you want the mod you'll probably stay. So uh, first thing you're going to do is um, go to the link I've put in the description and uh, you should come onto this page, the Minecraft forums. Now first thing you're going to do scroll down and uh, where it says content you're going to go flans mods and as you can see you've got all this you go down and it says installation now you have to do these in order guys and i will back up my minecraft just to show you guys if you don't know how to back up your minecraft on a mac here's what you do you go to the library application support just copy your minecraft and paste it onto your desktop now I've got quite a lot of stuff in my Minecraft. Yep, I'm just gonna go replace. Now what I'm gonna do is go from a fresh Minecraft to show you guys that it is actually done and that's just kind of doing its thing at the moment. So we're just gonna let it do its thing. It's not gonna take about three minutes, it's gonna take way less time than that. See so as you can see. Uh so this is just backing it up guys because this is actually the one with all my guns, mods and everything on it anyway. So this is what it will look like in the end. But until then, you know, delete everything. I'm sorry if you can hear my brother. I don't know what I just did. I know I did that. Alright, hang on a minute. Alright, we will just drag these size things to the trash. Because... As we all know, we hate having all that stuff without needing it. Okay, now I just need to do something so I can back it up, which can be done in a few seconds. Yeah, but like I said, guys, uh, I won't be here from Monday to Friday. So if you miss me, better I'm gonna be gonna be in France. France, god damn it. But yeah, as you can see, this is just restoring itself and it's taking a bit of time. But um I just like to be I like to be loyal. I like to show you that I am in fact doing it from a fresh Minecraft so that you guys know I'm doing it from a fresh minecraft i guess but yeah as you can see this is coming up it's just retrieving everything and my junk screen and it should just boot up like normal now like i said you need to go to this place uh the link that i put in the description and you need to install these bit by bit okay you need to install mod loader then mp and then blah 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 now when you come to mod loader you come down pass all this text pass here and i just click download direct on mod loader because i've downloaded it millions of times okay now i'm going to drag these onto my desktop in order so the one at the top is the one we're going to do first and then blah 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 as we get lower that's going to be like the ones we're doing last okay right we just need to scroll back up a bit. Now, the next thing you want to install is Mod Loader MP. I will, in fact, put the links to every single one of these in the description so that you can just go bam, done. But I have to do this one by one. So, uh, if you're going to do this one by one, this is what it all looks like. But other than that, you know, you can. I will give you links to everything so that you can just do it because um, that was the one reason I was putting this mod off like for doing it because everything just takes so long to do but it's so worth it in the end guys seriously I built myself like a shooting range and everything it's so fun but yeah that's MP there is a difference you have to put MP on 
and most people just go, oh, yeah, it's a multiplayer. Trust me, guys, it's not. Most single-player mods require it. Now, you're going to download Turbo Model Thingy, and here's the catch with it. You've got to go down, and it says, behold, the Ganonator. It says 1.2.4, but it says, although this is untested, it still could work on 1.2.5. It does. It works on 1.2.5. So what you want to do is you want to go direct download, then just OK. And obviously, guys, this is a Mac tutorial because I'm on Mac. You probably you do the similar thing for Windows, but you just use the app data, blah 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 blah. But yeah, so as I said, you just need to get all of this stuff, which I'm showing you how to do. Now the next thing you need to do is forge, and this is probably the hardest one to find because. It's on Buildcraft's website at the moment. You've got to go down, and it says for most users recommended, and then you just click on it, and then it takes you to Lexmano's no IP at all, blah 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 blah, and then uh, it takes you to Mediafire, which is a bit long-winded, but it's all worth it in the end because trust me, this mod is amazing. I will also teach you how to install content packs. That's a new thing he's added. Instead of like separate mods, you have one mod, and inside the mod you have content packs, which are pretty cool. They're just like little add-ons. Now well, that's Forge downloaded. Then you've got to download Player API, which is so simple to do. You just got to go down and you click on the Dropbox version. You just go to OK, drag that out, and now it's time to download the last thing which is obviously going to be our actual flans mod itself so there is flans mod there download flans mod 1.4 for 1.2.5 now if you're new to my channel and you don't know what you do with like the folder turning the jar into a folder don't worry because i'll show you how to do all that but if you've watched any of my videos before just go ahead and turn it into a folder now because it's, it's so easy to do now as you can see I have a rather full desktop with these files now um, launch minecraft after every single one like I'm going to do because it just gives it time to boot all the files and stuff like that now if you missed what I just did there you go to your name library application support minecraft then you go to bin and you should get something like that but it says minecraft.jar what you want to do open with you can use archive utility but i'm using the unarchiver it's faster and it's free and it's great now you drag the actual jar file into the trash and you name the folder minecraft.jar otherwise it won't run now we open up our mod loader file we ha um we hold command and then we go a command a command c go into this folder command v apply to all replace but we need to do one more thing uh this will help you so if you go to this middle bit this is a uh, courtesy of my friend that told me how to do this over skype and it is absolutely great you go to arrange by kind now you get all the folders at the top and then you get all the classes now this is great because you see this file here made to imp drag it to the trash you just don't need it so that's so that's mod loader and uh... this is both to show you it is working and uh... the way that you just boot it up and stuff like that so uh... everything works everything is fine now with mod loader MP you do the same as what you just did with mod loader command A, command C, command V, apply to all, replace. We're just gonna every time I've done something I'll move it over to the left guys. And then go back into Minecraft. I like to boot it up every time, so that means it gives the uh, actual Minecraft time to install the mod. Okay, now we go turbo model thingy, command A, command C. See, this is so easy to do, guys. It's, like, ridiculous. Come on, V, that's just pasted straight into it. 
I mean, it's amazing. But you need to be careful with Forge, as I will show you in a minute. Because uh, you do things with Forge a little bit differently. Okay, right. Once you've opened Forge, if we do the same thing, arrange by, like, um, kind. Uh, we got Forge and Net. Don't worry about Forge, that's fine. But it's Net. See, on Minecraft.jar you've also got Net. You're going to open it on both. And on Minecraft, you're going to go Minecraft Client. And you should have Minecraft Applet and Minecraft. Now, on uh, Forge, you've got the same thing. You just click in the files. And then uh, you copy Minecraft.class and replace it. You don't want to replace the whole net file because it's one of the most important things on Minecraft.jar. And if you remove that, that's kind of ruined your Minecraft. So, uh, Command A and keep holding Command and click on net and then scroll down. And there should be Minecraft Forge credits.txt. And just Command click that so it deselects them. Command C, Command V. Apply to all and replace. Now we're just going to fire up Minecraft again. Do, 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 do. And then you're going to go log in. Mojang screen. Fine. Everything works perfectly if you follow all the steps. Now, if you just hold Command A, Command click these to deselect them. Command C, you can just quit out of that. Command V, replace. It is literally this simple, guys. I mean, if you get it wrong, don't worry, because you should have backed up your Minecraft. And if you haven't, you're in too deep now, guys. But yeah, so uh, now it's time for Flans mods. Now, it says all README, but what it does is on a Mac, by default, it unzips it. You just want to right click and compress it. And it should appear somewhere. And I'm sorry if you can hear my brother in the background. But in you should now get mod loader mods folder here. Now what you want to do is you want to uh, this is in your Minecraft and your application support by the way guys. Now you want to go to your mods folder and drag this zip file in and that should be it guys. <coughs> I'm very sorry, I have a bit of a cough. But um it should fire up as normal. You should just be able to quit the game. But sometimes it doesn't add the folder you need. So if you go to Minecraft, sometimes you have to go into the world and sometimes you have to actually add the file. So what I usually do is add the file and the zip because it works best for me. See, as you can see, I'm just going to go in here. Just on this world. Blah, 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 blah. Right, quit title again. Quit game. And if it hasn't added it, you're going to go into mods, drag the folder and the zip in. Okay? So that's just something you need to do. Drag both of them in because it's just something that it does. And it's a little bit retarded, I know. But yeah, if you go just there, it should all be made now. As you can see, you get this folder right here called Flan. Now it's got nothing in it for now, but I'm going to show you how to install the simple parts pack, which is the most important pack, and the gun pack, because everyone usually wants to install the gun packs. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go back to Flans Mods, which uh, if you weren't like me, you probably still have open in your browser. Um, and you're going to go Content Packs, Simple Parts Pack. You're just going to hit download. It'll take you to AdFly, as most things do. And I mean, it's not exactly good for us because it makes us wait. But it's good for them because it gives uh, people like Flan and Rizigami funds to, uh, you know, just kind of progress on their mods. And without these people, we wouldn't have Minecraft mods. Well, no, we would, but maybe they wouldn't be to the standard as they are right now. But as you can see, once you've downloaded it, you get a uh, folder called Simple Parts Pack 1.0. But what you do is inside this folder is another two folders, readme.txt and Simple Parts Pack. Now, if you copy Simple Parts Pack, 
go to your Minecraft, then go to Flan, then paste it in. Now that's that. That is fine. Then if you go back into your browser, now I'm going to give you my personal preference on my favourite gun mod. Now you can use um, Flan's Modern Weapons mod, but there isn't a lot of guns there as you can see. But this guy, the first thing, um, Modern Weapons Plus and Angel Beats Pack by X Sparky. Um, thank you so much for making this. Um, you all see all these guns you get scopes and everything with it so you just want to hit download right there you get taken to x sparky's content pack for flans mod um website you just have to uh go to modern weapons plus oh then you've got to scroll down past all the weapons you can just see what weapons there are here uh, you can see some screenshots and a new iron sights which are being taken from call of duty they're absolutely amazing and then you just go right down here and it says download you just want to go to the modern weapons plus go to ad fly and then uh, just wait for your ad fly because ad fly is five seconds which i guess is okay it's not too long is it guys but as you can see another media file you just download this content pack you go okay quit out of that and wait for it to download like so let's see if i've downloaded it already i think i have yep but it's only 10 seconds and it's good to have the fresh stuff because you know it's always going to work so once you've downloaded this it will unarchive it and then it should pop up in your downloads you want to go into it, it says instructions and bugs you just want to click on it copy it in and paste it there into your flans folder now you want to go back into minecraft this is all proof that it's working. Log in. Now, one mod I um, also recommend for this is Too Many Items. It's probably the easiest one to install ever. You don't even need a mod loader for it. But if you uh, installed it, you'll obviously have it here. Um, if you scroll down, you can see Modern Weapons Box 1 and 2. If you scroll down even further, there are only a few modern of. Oh no, wait, it has got all the weapons. As you can see, there are so many weapons. The most versatile weapon at the moment is the SR25. The um, There's so much stuff you can do with it. If you're on creative, you have unlimited ammo of everything. If you uh, left click, you zoom in. You know, it fires, it's quite noisy, it's a laugh, it lets you kill stuff um thank you very much for watching this tutorial guys um please comment rate and subscribe and i will see you later you are being the best fans ever i have hit 2600 views and i would uh like to remind you about my community server day next saturday the 21st of april from 12 p.m eh, from 12 p.m till 5 p.m greenwich mean time Anyone could come along. It would be absolutely great. So, as I said before, I'll see you later, guys.